All right, this is about exponents. Exponents are unique in a couple of ways. So if you have an exponent, let's say 3, negative 3 to the third power. Okay? You've seen that before, right? Yes. Have you seen it this way too? Yes. You okay? You actually have two different answers here. And I'll tell you why. You know when you're in a big group of people and somebody leans right up against you, does it affect you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it does. That's how exponents work. Because the exponent only affects what it's right next to. It doesn't affect what it's not right next to. So in this case, the exponent's actually affecting the parentheses. So what this is saying is negative 3 times 3 times 3. And what this one's saying is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So what we get here is 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, but it's the opposite of 27. Okay? What this is saying is negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. In this situation, we wind up with the same answer. Let me give you another example. Okay? Let's do negative 2 to the fourth power. Negative 2 to the fourth power. What do we get? We get negative 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Here we get negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. What do we get here? Let's cover up the negative sign for a minute. 2 times 2 is? 4. Times 2? 8. Times 2? 16. So we get 16, but we get the opposite of 16, which is negative 16. What do we get here? Negative 2 times negative 2 is? 4. Positive 4 times negative 2? Negative 8. Times negative 2? Positive 16. Positive 16. So while they look very similar, we get an answer that's 32 apart. Would that make a difference if we were building a bridge? Yeah. Would our bridge fall down? Yeah. yeah, quite probably. So do you see the difference in how exponents are? Yes. Good.